Somehow a bangle bracelet just adds that finishing touch to any outfit. And with these bangles, you can decorate them any way you want. It's who I am, a little rare, some sour fair, and some mystery, putting it all together. Who I am, a little rare, some sour fair, and some mystery, putting it all together. Doing what I do. Doing what I do. Hi, I'm Judy from Judy Kins. And I'm using an unfinished bangle from DIYbangles.com. This is a wooden bangle and it's the perfect canvas to use because it's already sanded, you don't have to add a primer to it, and we can just start decorating it right now. So I'm using a little bit of quinacridone gold, and this is an acrylic paint, and a little bit of turquoise. And when the two colors are mixed together, it creates an olive green. So with my little paintbrush here, I'm just going to paint it right on the surface of the bangle. And because these are ac acrylic paints, they'll dry almost immediately. To let this dry, I'm going to hang it on a coffee mug tree here. Once it's dry, then I can paint the outside, the sides, and the inside here because I can hold the outside of the bangle. Now, this is my dried bangle. And I'm going to decorate that with just a little bit of gold ink here. And I'm going to spread it with my finger just so I get a nice thin coating. With my stamp, I can pick up that ink and stamp it right on the surface of the bangle. You just continue to roll my stamp over the top of it. And because my stamp is relatively small, it covers a lot of the area very evenly. You can also stamp the edges of the bangle just so that there's a little bit of decoration around the edge. This is going to take about five minutes to dry and then I can add my final layer that I'm stamping. I'm inking the Judykins Gothic Bolio here with permanent ink and I'm going to roll the bangle right on the stamp to apply the stamped image. Now the bangle is a little bit wider than the actual stamp itself, so I just ink up a little bit more on the edge here and just place the bangle right on the inked area and that kind of finishes off the pattern so it doesn't look like you've got this big gap there. Now I want to add a little bit of a glaze or a coating to my bangle and I'm going to use a little bit of Judykins Diamond Glaze right on the surface. You squeeze out some of the diamond glaze and with my finger I just coat the bangle. Now diamond glaze is a clear adhesive and it's also a glaze. To give it a nice shimmer I'm going to use these glass beads here on my bangle. So this is the area that I've applied the diamond glaze and you just pour those glass beads right over the wet glaze and it's going to stick to your bangle. How about making a bangle that looks like enamel turquoise? I'm going to start here with this dome-shaped bangle, but I'm going to create my own paint by using a little bit of diamond glaze and some dye-based ink. I'm using some Prussian blue and a spot of violet. Just add a drop of the Prussian blue and just a very small amount of the violet. And with my paintbrush, I'm just going to paint the mixture of diamond glaze with dye-based ink on my bangle. Now here's a dried bangle, and I've also painted the inside of it just to finish it off. And this time to decorate the bangle, I'm going to use some water-soluble metallic markers here. I'm coloring it on a piece of plastic. And the reason why is because the plastic allows the paint to stay wet just a little bit longer. If I were on paper, it would absorb in and it would dry up very quickly. So I'm using a little bit of metallic blue and a little metallic green. Then with my Bolio here, I'm just going to tap into that wet ink so that I get a nice coverage of ink on my Bolio. And again, like my other bangle, I just roll the bangle right on the top of the stamp surface to get the design on the bangle. I still have that little spot there, 
So I just press down on the edge of the bolillo here and that'll finish off my design. For some people, this looks absolutely perfect. You don't have to do anything else to it. You might want to add one more layer of diamond glaze to seal it, but you can also add some glass beads to it like I did on the other bangle. And this looks like enamel turquoise underneath the beads. Watch it fall around me and shades and green. Now this last bangle I'm using is a pentagon shaped bangle. It's actually a dome shaped bangle that has five flat surfaces on it. I've already painted it with some copper acrylic paint and some metallic purple paint on the flat side. And you can decorate these flat panels with a rubber stamp, but you can use a really large rubber stamp by inking it up. And the best part about this is you can select a particular part of the stamp that you like. For example, I like this little flower here, and I just press the flat side of the bangle right on that flower, and that transfers the image on there. To highlight the flower, I'm going to add a little bit of white acrylic paint here. I just put a little on my palette, which is just a piece of plastic, shrink plastic, pick up the white with my paintbrush, and just paint right in the petals of the flower here. Now if I'm not perfectly neat, that's okay, because like the other bangles, once the paint is dry, I can come back in with a little bit of diamond glaze and those glass beads and it just makes those panels sparkle and shine and it gives it that added bit of texture. As you can see, the possibilities are just endless. I have a bangle here that looks like it's been carved. I also have one with some butterflies and little polka dots. This one has an animal print on it. You can decorate a bangle a day and make your life bangalicious. To create this project yourself, download this week's design guide. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions along with special make-it-your-own bonus tips and ideas.